this. <laughs> that means there's news. <laughs> okay, let's start. First panel. Um, being Human uh, has been a breakout hit for us. It premiered last, uh, last year, beginning of the year, and was immediately a ratings winner. Also caught the largest female audience uh, for an original scripted series, which was a real accomplishment for us. And I think it also, what was great about it is that it really laid claim to Monday as a big night for us, and really became the uh, genesis for Most Powerful Mondays. Um, and, and, um, and so we're going to continue Powerful Mondays into the new year. <laughs> And I have some news. Uh, season two premieres Monday, January 16th at 9 p.m. Um, and let me bring up uh, let me bring up the cast. I will say, season two also we are just into the beginning of, of uh, production. We're about five or six episodes in, um, and the scripts. And we're obviously that much farther along the scripts. What's really great about this season, even more so than last, is it really has done a great job of, of really defining itself even more from the BBC series and broke the way. Anna and Jeremy have done a phenomenal job just of really establishing a tone for the show that um, defines itself and really distinguishes itself from the BBC series, which we love, but I think a big uh, effort has been to uh, have this step out on its own, and it really does this year. Okay, without further ado, let me welcome to the stage uh, um, Sam Whitford, Megan Rath, and Sam Huntington. So, so we decided to, uh, yeah, yeah. so we're going to play the clip now with everyone up on stage so you don't have to jump down off stage. That was dangerous last year. Yeah, I, I uh, almost sued. I was like, I'm fine. I'm actually fine. Well, if you hurt yourself. Okay, oh, sorry. wait, sorry. I know, there's a lot more of this to come. So before we go there, let's, let's watch the clip. <laughs> And 
so she's battling with that a lot. And um, meeting a lot of new characters. I think there's tons of new characters on the show this year. Uh, we're very blessed with the, the new guest cast. Um, do you want to talk about Aiden or not? Yeah. Do we need to? Talk a little, no, really. talk a little <laughs> about the guest cast to get on for to Aiden's character and like their okay. uh, new. Well, uh, so we have Deacon Lockman this year who's playing Surin. Uh, who is a very old vampire. How old is she? Uh, over seven years old. Okay. All right. Yeah. And, uh, I, said, well, I thought she was like 37. Uh, <laughs> really, really old she, she vampire. Really, really old. old yeah. um, and then we also have Kyle Schmidt, who plays Henry, who's mm -hmm. an awesome addition. Yeah, yeah. Aiden is, um, he's, he's dealing with, uh, there's all these identity, really neat identity issues throughout this, this season, because as you as we saw last year, we went back to a few time periods, we went to the 50s, we went to the 70s. Well, we're going way back to the 80s. We went to the 80s, <laughs> was a guitar player in the band. The bishop was a singer, and there was this whole thing of like, but I want to be the singer, and you be the guitar player. It's, 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 a, a, it's a story but you've seen always, a hundred times. Because we always know between the singer and the guitar right. player, there's, a, there's yeah, yeah, And yeah, it's just person. baked into that yeah. story. Yeah. No, we go back to the 30s, um, and, and we discover a time when the vampires weren't taking these these awful day jobs that they didn't want to be taking, and, and they didn't have to hide as hardcore as, as they do uh, in modern day. And then we even go back to 1918, and we learn what, what happened before them. But we, there, we, we discover Aiden, perhaps at the height of his, uh, of his um, influence and power, and, uh, and he's doing really, really well. And we learn why they were all scattered and sent in the shadows, and, and they all hide. And, and so, as I talk about this identity thing, we, we really get a strong contrast for who Aiden was and this ideal Aiden. Everyone's talking about him, and you get to see him, and they talk about how he was the ideal vampire. And then we learn, you know, and then of course we know a lot about how Aiden is trying to be in these last two years since, you know, right. he's, been since he, he's known you. Right. And, uh, and, and he just keeps having options removed um, and avenues of escape, and he's having all these things taken away from him. And, and once you have <laughs> all your options taken away, you really do learn who you really are. Not who you want to be, and not who you were, but who you are. And uh, that's one of the scary things that he goes through this season. Well, Plus there's a uh, sex. Yeah. And that's frightening, right? So, so oh, yeah. you guys have a lot of, um, of kind of old loves return, and you mentioned the 30s. And um, talk about that a little bit in terms of uh, some of the things that you guys grapple with in terms of relationships. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Uh, Romance with Josh's grandfather. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a big time romance with my granny. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's wonderful, guys. It's epic. Um, but uh, no, I, I uh, for Josh anyway. He has um, I don't know actually how much I'm allowed to reveal. Uh, in the in the in the uh, the notes that we were given, it just says uh, oh, Josh's jo uh, 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 a romance from his past comes back in an unexpected way. So uh, oh, that's great. Do you like that? I, like I that. even I did the air quotes yeah. there. Um, but that, uh, you know, one thing I can say is, um, uh, you know, Nora is still a, a huge part of Josh's life at the end of season one. That continues <clears throat> into season two and, um, and gets very, very complicated uh, when said uh, uh, romance from his past comes back. Um, and uh, and it, it's, it's cool for Josh because, you know, his, his, his need and his want uh, in life is uh, is the thing that he finds most difficult to achieve. So it's um, it, 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 and and hurting other people is uh, his biggest fear, and he's a lover, and it's, so it's it's really really difficult for him, uh, which has been really fun for me to play. So um, I think you guys are going to enjoy it. It's going to be something that um, maybe you you've uh, experienced yourself in life. Uh, so. Maybe less painful, with less hair mm -hmm. um, and blood in the world. Yeah, the whole werewolf thing. I don't know if any of you are, but uh, it's unfortunate. If you are. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> don't, don't ask them. Yeah. It's not fun. It's not fun. It's um, yeah, Aiden's old love interest is you know is the Surin character that we mentioned. Uh, uh, so, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's uh, let's go to your questions. We have mics. So, Sagers, you don't get to ask questions. I'm sorry. The question is, how are you feeling after that roller coaster last night? Yeah. <laughs> we were all talking about that this morning. A little jostled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were thinking, like, do you chill? Are there, like, is there a study that's uh, been taken of, like, long-term effects of... Uh, I feel like I have a 
persistent. Uh, yeah. yeah. Your pro, I can tell you this, your personality has changed fundamentally. Yeah, you, can, you can't tell. violent. Yeah, but everybody else can see it. Yeah.